Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're continuing our HTML5 project. We've come a long way. We've got a home screen and art screen with a collapsible element. We'll deal with resizing that picture a little later. And you can fill in the, uh, the other items on your own. Now if you notice this, when we open a collapsible element and we scroll down, the footer is stuck in place but not the header. It scrolls away. If you want the header to be stuck in place, it's a simple fix. Back to our code. We want to find our header, line 116 for our art page. We'll add data-position equals quotes fixed f-i-x-e-d fixed. Now when I reload the project and I scroll the top element does not scroll, it's fixed. Okay, so you can fill in the uh, art classes on your own. Let's uh, work now on computer section. So we'll, uh, we'll do this as quickly as possible with a little copy and paste as much as possible. We will need a brand new div for the new page. So once again, a little bit of practice here. Go to the very end and add a new div pair after the last slash div. That needs a data dash role of page, a unique ID, which we have decided on computers. Now we need the rest of the elements. Here's where we'll cop copy and paste. I'll just select all of the div from lines 170 to 174, which is my footer for my art page, which is the same as the footer for my home page. So copy that, paste it in between your divs for the page, add another space. Next we'll need a div for content. We'll fill in the details in a moment, but I'll just put some placeholder text. And we need the header, and that one's a big just a copy and paste job. I'll go back to the header of my art section. So that'll be lines 116 to 141. Now, how do I know what lines to select? Well, practice. And also, Notepad++ tells me. If I click on one tag, and if it's all written properly, it will highlight the ending tag. Notice how I click on H3 tag, and its pair highlights. Click on the div for navbar, and its pair highlights. So make sure you select the whole div for the data role of header. So I've selected it. Right click copy or control C or command C on the keyboard. And go back to data role page computers paste. On line 179, this is no longer the art classes, these are the computer classes. Data roll navbar, that's fine. Home button, that's fine. Art button, that's fine. Except that now we need to again move this class away from the art button and to the computer's button. This class makes the button highlighted. It shows us where we're at in the navigation. So select class equals quote end quote. Cut it. Make sure you do not cut that last uh, angle bracket. Go to the end of line 196, not all the way to the end actually, right before the last angle bracket. Make sure you're putting this in the angle bracket. Enter, and then paste. So I've pasted the class, which makes the button active, onto the computer's button. Let's take a look at our result. Run home, we can click on computers, it goes to computers, looks like how I expect. I can click on art, come home, back to art, to computers, navigation works perfectly. 
we will transfer from the home page this divider, this list view that is, to the computer screen, plus a little bit of text that every page has at the top. So line 205, I'll replace that with an H2. We'll say learn computers. New space. So in line 208, I need to move the list view element to this line. Copy and paste that is. Let's see our project is getting more complicated, but I found right here, line 67, this one is unique. We've been seeing over and over divs with data roles, divs with data roles, either page, footer, collapsible, etc. This one is unique because it's actually a UL, which is an unordered list, which is bullet points between line 67 and 107 is a bullet point list. But it looks like uh, this because jQuery Mobile has styled it because it has a data role, list view. So go ahead and select that whole UL, UL to slash UL, cut it. And then we'll paste on line, uh, now it's line 168, paste save and run. So now our home page looks like our example. Our computers page is starting to look like our example. Learn computers, we've got dividers and such. Like our example. I'll fill in some of these items so that they're not so spartan. So on line 168 is where the list view starts. 170 lists the divider. This will be basic classes. The next divider is 188, we'll say intermediate classes, and then 201 advanced classes. Line 174 would list the first class. We can do uh, COM 101. 179 com 102 we should uh, be making sense of this now line 192 these are the intermediates so we'll do com 201 com 202 and then the advanced class line 100 and, uh, 205 com 301 There we go. We'll make these links actually work on our next videos. But we've got all of the pieces now of our of our interface. So we'll be talking about creating the pop-up window, uh, the secondary pages for the computer screen, the turn-by-turn -turn directions and such on our next videos.